Let's talk about Medicare and entitlements. Both Medicare and Social Security are going broke and taking a larger share of the budget in the process. Will benefits for Americans under these programs have to change for the programs to survive, Mr. Ryan? Absolutely. Medicare and Social Security are going bankrupt. These are indisputable facts. Look, when I look at these programs, we've all had tragedies in our lives. I think about what they've done for my own family. My mom and I had my grandmother move in with us who was facing Alzheimer's. Medicare was there for her, just like it's there for my mom right now, who's a Florida senior. After my dad died, my mom and I got Social Security survivor's benefits. Helped me pay for college. It helped her go back to college in her 50s, where she started a small business because of the new skills she got. She paid all of her taxes on the promise that these programs would be there for her. We will honor this promise. And the best way to do it is to reform it for my generation. You see, if you reform these programs for my generation, people 54 and below, you can guarantee they don't change for people in or near retirement, which is precisely what Mitt Romney and I are proposing. Look what, look what Obamacare does. Obamacare takes $716 billion from Medicare to spend on Obamacare. Even their own chief actuary at Medicare backs this up. He says you can't spend the same dollar twice. You can't claim that this money goes to Medicare and Obamacare. And then they put this new Obamacare board in charge of cutting Medicare each and every year in ways that will lead to denied care for current seniors. This board, by the way, it's 15 people. The president's supposed to appoint them next year. And not one of them even has to have medical training. And Social Security, if we don't shore up Social Security, when we run out of the IOUs, when the program goes bankrupt, a 25% across the board benefit cut kicks in on current seniors in the middle of their retirement. We're going to stop that from happening. They haven't put a credible solution on the table. He'll tell you about vouchers. He'll say all these things to try and scare people. Here's what we're saying. Give younger people, when they become Medicare eligible, guaranteed coverage options that you can't be denied, including traditional Medicare. Choose your plan, and then Medicare subsidizes your premiums. Not as much for the wealthy people, more coverage for middle-income people, and total out-of-pocket coverage for the poor and the sick. Choice and competition. We would rather have 50 million future seniors determine how their Medicare is delivered to them instead of 15 bureaucrats deciding what, if, where, when they get it. Vice President Biden, too. You know, I heard that death panel argument from Sarah Palin. It seems every vice presidential debate I hear this kind of stuff about panels. Um, but let's talk about Medicare. Um, what we did is we saved $716 billion and put it back, applied it to Medicare. We cut the cost of Medicare. We stopped overpaying insurance companies, when doctors and hospitals. The AMA supported what we did. AARP endorsed what we did. And it extended the life of Medicare to 2024. They want to wipe this all out. It also gave more benefits. Any senior out there, ask yourself, do you have more benefits today? You do. If you're near the donut hole, you have $800, $600 more to help your prescription drug costs. You get wellness visits without co-pays. They wipe all of this out, and Medicare goes, becomes insolvent in 2016, no, no, number one. Number two, guaranteed benefit. It's a voucher. When they first proposed, when the congressman had his first voucher program, the CBO said it would cost six thousand four hundred dollars a year martha more for every senior 55 and below when they got there he knew that yet he got it all the guys in congress and the women in the republican party to vote for it governor romney knowing that said i i, I would sign it were i there who you believe the ama me a guy who's fought his whole life for this, or somebody who had actually put in motion a plan that knowingly cut six, uh, added $6,400 a year more to the cost of Medicare. Now they got a new plan. Trust me, it's not going to cost you any more. Folks, follow your instincts on this one. And with regard to Social Security, we will not we will not privatize it. If we had listened to Romney, the Governor Romney, and the Congressman during the Bush years, imagine where all those seniors would be now if their money had been in the market. Their ideas are old and their ideas are bad and they eliminate the guarantee of Medicare. Here's the problem. They got caught with their hands in the cookie jar, turning Medicare into a piggy bank for Obamacare. Their own actuary from the administration came to Congress and said, one out of six hospitals and nursing homes are going to go out of business as a result of this. That's not what they said. 7.4 million seniors are projected to lose the current Medicare Advantage coverage they have 
that's a $3,200 benefit cut. That didn't what we're happen. saying, more people signed these are up. from your own more, actuaries. More, 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 more people signed mm -hmm. up for Medicare Advantage after what, the change. What there's no, a, nobody is Mr. Vice President, down. I know, no, no, this Mr. Is Mr. Vice President, this is I know little... you're under a lot of duress to make up for lost <laughs> ground. But I think people will be better served if we don't keep interrupting each other. Well, let me don't just, take let me all the this. four minutes then. We're not, we're saying don't change benefits for people 55 and above. They already organize the retirement around these they problems. Already, well, let, let, let me these ask you this. What, what right. is your specific plan for seniors who really can't afford to make up the difference in the value of what you call a premium support plan and others call a voucher? 100% coverage and for what, them. What, what That's what cost? we're saying. So, we're saying income adjust these premium support payments by taking down the subsidies for wealthy people. Look, this is a plan. By the way, that $6,400 number it was misleading then. It's totally inaccurate now. This is a plan that's bipartisan. It's a plan I put together with a prominent Democrat senator from Oregon. There's not one Democrat it's who endorses it. plan. Not one Democrat who's Our partner the plan. is a Democrat from Oregon. And he said we, he does we, no longer support we put you it, for We that. put it together with the former Clinton budget director. Who this disavows idea, it. <laughs> this idea came from the Clinton Commission to Save Medicare, chaired by Senator John Bro. Here's the point, Martha. Which was rejected. If we don't, if we don't fix this problem pretty soon, then current seniors get cut. Here's the problem. 10,000 people are retiring every single day in America today, and they will for 20 years. That's not a political thing. Martha, That's if a we math just thing. did one thing, if we just, if they just allow Medicare to bargain for the cost of drugs like Medicaid can, that would save $156 billion right off the bat. And it would deny all, seniors' all, choices. All, it, it, it has a restricted are not formula. denied. So Absolutely. They are not denied. Look, folks, I, I, all, all you seniors out there, have you been denied choices? Have you lost Medicare Advantage? Because it's working well right now. Signed up? Because Vice President Biden, let, let, let me ask you, if it, if it could help solve the problem, why not very slowly raise the Medicare eligibility age by two years, as Congressman Ryan suggests? Look, I was there when we did that with Social Security in 1983. I was one of eight people sitting in the room that included Tip O'Neill negotiating with uh, President Reagan. We all got together, and everybody said, as long as everybody's in the deal, Everybody's in the deal, and everybody is making some sacrifice. We can find a way. We made the system solvent to 2033. We will not, though, be part of any voucher plan eliminating it. The voucher says, Mom, when you're, 50, when you're 65, go out there, shop for the best insurance you can get. You're out of Medicare. You can buy back in if you want with this voucher, which will not keep pace will not keep pace with health care costs. Because if it did keep pace with health care costs, there would be no savings. That's why they go the voucher. They, we will be no part of a voucher program or the privatization of Social Security. A voucher is you go to your mailbox, get a check, and buy something. Nobody's proposing that. Hey, Barack Obama, four years ago, running for president, said, if you don't have any fresh ideas, use stale tactics to scare voters. If you don't have a good record to run on, paint your opponent as someone people should run from. I Make a big you, you were about one of the few ideas. lawmakers to stand with President Bush when he was seeking to partially privatize Social Security. For younger people, what we said then, okay. and what I've always agreed, is let younger Americans have a voluntary choice of making their money work faster for them within the Social Security system. You saw That's how not well what that Mitt Romney's proposing. What we're saying is no changes for anybody 55 and what above. Mitt Romney is proposing. And then the kinds of changes we're talking about for younger people like myself is don't increase the benefits for wealthy people as fast as everybody else. Slowly Martha. raise the retirement age over time. It wouldn't get to Martha. the age of 70 until the one year 2103, according to the actuaries. Now here's the Quickly, here's the quickly, issue. Vice President. Quickly. The bottom line here is that all the studies show that if we went with Social Security proposal made by Mitt Romney, if you're 40, in your 40s now, you'll pay $2,600 a year. More, you get $2,600 a year less in Social Security. If you're in your 20s now, you get $4,700 a year less. The idea of changing, and change being in this case, to cut the benefits for people without taking other action you could do to make it work is absolutely the wrong way. These, look, these guys haven't been big on Medicare from the beginning. Their party's not been big on Medicare from the beginning, and they've always been about Social Security as little as you can do. Look, folks, use your common sense. 
Who do you trust on this? A man who introduced a bill that would raise it $6,400 a year, knowing it and passing it and Romney saying he'd sign it, or me and the president? That statistic was completely misleading, but more importantly... That's what they were the facts, this, right? This is what politicians do when they don't have a record to run on. <laughs> Try to scare people from voting for you. If you don't get ahead of this problem, it's going to attack Medicare us. beneficiaries that more beneficiaries. We're not going to run, gonna, we're gonna we're gonna we're not run away. We're going to move on to a very simple question to Medicare you, and Social Security did so much for my own family. We are not going to jeopardize this program, but we have to save it. You are jeopardizing so the program. You're changing the program from a guaranteed benefit to a premium support, whatever you call it. The bottom line is people are going to have to pay more money out of their pocket. And the families the I know and the world. families I come from, they don't have the money to pay more. That's out why of we're money. saying Gentlemen, more for lower income people and less for higher income people. I would like to move on to a very simple question for both of you. And something tells me <laughs> I won't get a very simple answer. But let me ask you this. I gave you a simple answer. He's raising the cost of Medicare.